guys, good morning, how are we? This, I'm hoping, is the start of a very wonderful adventure that we're gonna do together. I'm at the airport here in Salt Lake City. Looks like there's a building on fire, no big deal. But I am headed to Dallas freaking Texas. Can you believe it? I am headed down to meet our good buddy Zach, who works at Stealth Cam, and a bunch of his buddies, and they are gonna take me out bass fishing. If you guys are bass fishermen, you know Texas has got to be up there with one of the best states for catching bass. And not only bass, but big bass. Zach keeps sending me texts every day saying it's going to be phenomenal. The fish are headed to their beds. The water's clear. All the things you're wanting in a spring bass fishing trip, I'm guessing. I'm thinking. That's what Zach's telling me. Anyways, i got to get my stuff. I'm running a little late, like usual. But hopefully I got everything I need. We'll be landing in Dallas at about 6.30. Uh, we're going to stay at Zach's house tonight go get everything we need, and then tomorrow morning, bright and early, we will be on the lake. So let's go. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Thank you. Thanks. successfully in Texas and it is warm and humid just like I remember fun fact for you I used to live here I lived here for two summers in uh, Plano Texas just outside of Dallas I used to sell pest control here in the summertime yeah that was me knocking on your door anyway I'm gonna go grab my bags go meet Zach told me he was driving a uh, gold Toyota Echo. This is what he rolls up in. Uh, you got sir, the film crew going? Can, can you give me a ride? Hey, let's go, man. Can you give me a ride to where the big bass are hanging are out? Are you ready to get some biggins? Uh, 10 pounders. We might can make that we're happen. We're doing the double digit thing this, this week. All right. You in? I'm in. Okay, I'll jump in then. Good morning. It is so early. Super early. Not so early, but super early. I can tell you this. These boys down here in Dallas, they don't mess around with their bass fishing in the spring. What time is it, Zach? 5.45? Yeah, 5.45. 5.45. We're, we're get, hooking the boat up right now. We're, we're headed out. Let's go ask Zach. What's the plan? What are we doing? What are, what are we going to be looking for here? Dude, the plan is to catch a lot of big bass. <laughs> And really? a lot of fish. Um, it's kind of cold this morning, though, man. Uh, I don't know. It's the wind's supposed to blow pretty good, so we're gonna try to get out there and get after them. And um, I don't know, maybe go take a nap around lunchtime. <laughs> so we got about an hour drive from Zach's house to where we're going, and then we're gonna be actually staying out there on the lake for the next three days. So just kind of a little rundown. This is a uh, Zach's and his good buddies' annual trip they do for uh, springtime bass. And I was fortunate enough to get an invite to go down and do it. But Zach's a big time fat bass fisherman. He, he fished collegiately in college, obviously. That's what collegiately means, if you guys didn't know. <laughs> I didn't go to college, but if you guys did, whatever. <laughs> but this is what Zach and his good buddies do um, every year. They, they bass fish all, all year long, but this is their big annual trip. And so it's him and his, his, a bunch of his buddies, his dad. Um, some of their dads are coming down. But uh, I'm just fortunate enough to get the invite to come do this because I absolutely love bass fishing. I just don't do it enough. And like I said before, Texas is kind of the, the, the pinnacle of bass fishing, in my opinion. We are hoping there's going to be some, some going to be some good weather. There's going to be some fish ready to ready to party and uh but most importantly like always guys we're looking for to have have a good time and make some memories it starts right now uh let's go
welcome to the adventure. So uh, we just launched at the boat ramp and uh, Zach rent us a nice house over here on the lake where we'll be staying for the next three to four nights. So we're actually just taking our stuff over to the lake house, gonna drop it off and then we're going fishing guys. We made it. Four days, it's supposed to be pretty good weather. Wind's supposed to be pretty bad today. Tomorrow's supposed to be good. Sunday, iffy. Monday's supposed to be really good as well. So, you ready Bailey? I'm ready bro. Are you gonna let this Idaho, Idaho guy catch bigger fish than you? No. I think it's gonna happen. I have a good feeling about this weekend, guys. Well, from the looks of it, uh, Zach absolutely nailed the booking on this house. Look at this, back in this own little like cove. Zach, good work, bro. Dude, this place is sick. I've always heard location, location, location. That's what it's all about, man. And you just nailed it. We, we're gonna try it. I'm a little nervous. Like I said earlier, I haven't bass fished for a few years and I haven't done it a lot. I've done it for like four years I got into it when I lived in California. Did I tell you guys this? I lived in California, I grew up in Idaho, you guys know. Uh, didn't never bass fish. We didn't have a lot of bass fishing opportunity in Idaho, obviously, growing up. Uh, moved to California, met a good a good buddy of mine who's a big bass fisherman got me into it and I fished a lot when I lived there and then ever since moving back to Idaho four years ago haven't done it I absolutely love it I'm passionate about it just haven't made the time to go and do it so super stoked that Zach invited me to come down and uh, we're gonna have some fun we're gonna go drop our stuff off at this place which doesn't look bad and then we're gonna go get after him so they say here in Texas up in this cove the winds out of the north i got you on a texas rig there's a bunch of stick ups up here the wind's kind of blowing in here it's usually pretty protected but it's pretty windy today but uh, put this little blue rage crawl in here and just to let you guys know um i will be fishing without a hat today uh i donated it to the lake zach didn't say he was going to go 110 miles an hour across the lake and my hat came off and i couldn't find it so you're gonna get this today. Deal with it. I thought this would be protected because the wind's out of the north. Oh, there's one. Yeah, fish on. Guys, first fish of the trip. Check it out, too. Freaking slob. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad way to start it out, Zach. No, it's not, dude. This is a pretty decent one. So we just stopped at this cove. We were headed somewhere else, but Zach knew, knew about this cove. And he thought it would be a little more protective of the wind. Today it's going to be windy. But uh, we're definitely right in the middle of the wind. Oh, I just missed it. Out when you're throwing it this kind of Fish on. Ooh, nice, dude. I just got robbed. Look, I got robbed. <laughs> no way. Hey, first fish. I'll take it. Throw, throw right in there on top of me. Oh, I lost him! All right, guys, it has been super slow so far. We've only caught two fish. We had a strike for him. We lost it. Uh, talking to everybody else, it's been slow for them too. So today's just kind of an off day. The storm's blown through. It's really windy. But what do you think, Zach? Tomorrow? Tomorrow looking better? Tomorrow's gonna be awesome. I think this afternoon will get better too. It's just that front blew through and so I think it kind of pushed the fish off a little bit and they're a little shocked right now but um, I, think, I think it'll get better as the day goes on for sure. It's that time of year so as the water heats up throughout the 
we got a new member of the boat now. Zach's brother-in-law, Casey's here. What's Casey, Casey. Casey, Casey, just top 40. Anyways, we're gonna fish this bank here um, and uh, hope for the best. Zach, show us how to do it there, bro. We try. Finally, motherfucker. The streak has been broken. We're back on the board. The fish has got something growing on the side of his face. I keep getting bit too. <laughs> yeah. That's what was biting me earlier. Woo! Well, guys, we are officially getting our butts whooped today. We have got how many fish in the boat? Five? I think we've gotten five fish to the boat today, is all. But it's evening, the wind is calming down a little bit, and uh, we got about another hour and a half left to fish, so. So this is what everyone else is saying, saying they're catching on. Big old swim bait, wide bait. All we can do is try. Tomorrow, we're, we have uh, high hopes for tomorrow. There's supposed to be no wind, supposed to be good weather. Um, we're thinking this cold front is gonna finally push through and uh, these fish will be back doing what they were doing last week. So, we'll see. We go back to this point, guys. Fish on! Big one. You got your GoPro on? Yeah, it's on. Is that a bass? It's a, that's a bass, dude. Dude, get the net. That's definitely the biggest fish so far. Don't let him, don't let him throw. Don't let him throw your shit. Here, the net's in here. So just step back. Don't let him throw you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't, don't let him. <laughs> dude, biggest bass ever. <laughs> what did I tell you? Only takes one. This thing. Dude, and the crazy thing, the crazy thing is, dude, is you caught her in 60 foot of water <laughs> on a glide bait. How big do you think that fish is? It's probably a seven pounder. Really? Seven and a half. I don't know, it's hard to tell. It's pretty Well, here, let me tell thick. you real quick. Well, just under 697. 697. Guys, I told Zach earlier, it, we've been getting our butts kicked. Everyone else seems to be doing pretty well, better than us. And I was just being a smart aleck, and I was like, Zach, it only takes one, bro. We just got it. That's a big fish. Biggest bass I've ever caught. Tomorrow, we're, we're counting on tomorrow to be phenomenal. The weather's shaping up to be perfect. Um, let's do that again, though. Oh, Casey just had to end the day. Got a big fish on. Because we've worked hard for these fish. Whoa! <laughs> hey, it only takes one. Look at that fish. <laughs> Good work, man. Well, I guess Zach's gonna end the day with his last fish. <laughs> Guys, it's turned around for us in the last 45 minutes. The wind, man. The conditions changing. Not bad little fish. Heck yeah. All right, Fatty. kiss him and leave him. <laughs> We're doing a little competition with all of us. How many are there? Is there 12 of us? Yeah. I think there's 12 guys out fishing, and uh, so we all threw some money. So there's uh, biggest fish of the day, and then biggest fish for the overall trip. And all day long, we've been sending each other pictures of the fish and then of what the scale is reading. We have not sent him a picture of my fish yet. We're going to slow play him. So, uh, who's in the lead right now? Jace, he's got a 599. Jace has got a 5.99, and that's the biggest one we've seen. And uh, so, I think, hopefully, he thinks he's going to win, and then we'll show up with those fish. 
Oh, Zach's just crushing fish over here. Sorry. There he goes. So we were trying to slow play him, and uh, Darren has a pretty big fish. What is yours? 694. That's what I figured. It's like close to seven. That's a big one, dude. Tried to play the sandbag special. Well, we just got face crushed. <laughs> we were like, we're going to win this thing. Show up. How big was yours, Darren? 7.4. Ours is 6.9. Here, let me get out from the back. Two biggest fish of the day. Yeah, guys, those are tanks. We're gonna release them now. Who makes babies?